I do a little car video for y'all. All this is Kenner area. There without electricity. Like it ain't nothing funny. The street lights up ahead, we gotta pull them back into, into position because the wind was blowing so hard it folded them backwards. The lights that was supposed to be for this side was facing the other side of the street and the other side of the street was facing this way. As you can see with the construction workers here. I'm gonna get around fast the fast little motion and everything so this area is the Kenner International Airport or the New Orleans International Airport however you want to say it but it's based in Kenner so DOT is out here flagging traffic while working uh, Jefferson Parish and Kenner cops are out here flagging traffic A lot of businesses are shut down due to the fact of this. The airport got its own backup power supply, so let y'all see the lights. They're, they're twisted. <laughs> they're all at an angle. Mustang on the right side. Technical difficulties. See all the debris. They're not saying there was a tornado or anything. More like straight line, uh, straight line winds. Plus, I haven't been hearing any, any kind of news about it, other than. 30,000, 70,000 people in Louisiana without electricity right now, but I don't know. This is Kinnerkopf uh, flagging traffic. When they ain't got nothing that wants to get across, they'll let everybody go through without stopping. Pretty cool guys. This is Airline Highway, just so y'all know. We're going from my work towards New Orleans. So, let's give you a scope of how, how much uh, electricity is out. Next left lights that are coming up, but the next one after that, that's Williams Boulevard in Kenner. That's one of the main thoroughfares through Kenner, besides Veterans, Airline, and Williams. So. Williams will take you to uh, I-10 from River Road all the way to uh, Vantage.
the big ass truck, I might well go to. Racetrack, McDonald's, all these gas stations are out. They have no idea how long it's going to be before they get the electricity back on again. difficulties. There's a tree on the right side of the road down. There's another tree on the right side. Now we're coming back to some electricity. My work was also involved in the power outage, so but they were smart. They had a generator hooked up when they built the building. Technical difficulties. So, they got minimum power. They don't have full capacity like they would have been hooked up to the grid. Waffle House is out. Uh, Popeye's is open, so they still got electricity. morning before I before I made it to work they had another guy there he was he was getting ready to go into the yard and all of a sudden he heard an explosion our transformer blew up so that's why my company is out of electricity there was some damage to the built to the uh, mechanic shop in the back uh, pieces of metal was ripped off the side of the, the tin building so but the ice uh the ice makers are full of ice so got to get some ice for the ice chest to help keep the cold drinks it's kind of eerie out here now not a lot of traffic more power outages up a little further up I'm going to transcontinental so this morning when I came into work I went through I-10 got off at the airport service road that's when I started seeing the power outages being on I-10 they got walls around for noise deadening for the neighborhoods that's along the I-10 I so you never really noticed much about anything going on. But then when I came across the overpass to get off of I-10, getting on the airport service road, half the lights on that service road was out. The beginning lights was out, they had the middle lights, and then they had the end lights was out too, so. Nice turn signal, asshole.
the video going when I get on Transcontinental. See if there's any trees down, power outages or anything like that. The big building that we're coming up to on the right side. That used to be Zephyr Stadium, used to be our baseball team, until they decided to change the name to the Baby Cakes. Now we have no baseball team, but we got a rugby team. Woohoo! Not that I follow sports anyway. Yep. The Harley dealership doesn't look like that. any electricity on in there. Canes is open. Dix is open. And here's where the Saints training camp is at on my right side. Then you got this big white building on the right side, which is the Budweiser building. Blech. I stopped drinking Budweiser when they first when they started to become a, a, a logger. They like nasty. crews that uh, work for the same company I do. Oh man, I'm gonna get a red light. That sucks. <sighs> Transcontinental. Let me sit in here a good minute. Transcontinental just got resurfaced, so it's not as rough as it used to be. Still kind of rough in some areas, but not in all areas. Well, airline uh, lights are getting ready to change, so Transcontinental can come out. And my phone got a better clarity and picture than my uh, dash cam got. <laughs> Yay, green, go people. Let's go. Move it, move it, move it. Oh, technical difficulties. Arr. Sad part about it is this isn't the part that got reserviced. Ah, technical difficulties. Well, looks like everybody got electricity still. I know I have a lot of technical difficulties on this road. Some tree branches down. It's kind of got an eerie sensation outside here. You know, it's like normally they got a lot of people out and about, especially on a Friday. But today it's like not a lot of people. Everybody's like staying home or like they're in shock or something. It's kind of almost a remembrance of uh, COVID when I was a delivery driver for shit logics. There wasn't very many people out on the road that time. I didn't mind delivering in New Orleans at the time due to the fact that there was plenty of parking because. Nobody was in the city. Another bad thing about delivering in the city, the low hanging trees with a 26 foot box truck. If the branch is big enough, it'll peel that top like a, like a banana peel.
This road that's crossing is West Mattery. Later.